everybody. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Welcome back to another episode of Tech Review 2000, where today I'll be reviewing the DJI Tello. Before I do so though, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment your critiques and ideas about this video in the comments below. Now, let's review the DJI Tello. So for those of you who don't know, this is a drone developed by DJI sort of as a toy. I say this is a toy because this drone comes with a premium but not extremely premium price tag of $100. This drone also has some pretty cool features that larger drones like the Mavic Mini or the Phantom has, but I mean, definitely is not very developed as this is a tiny little drone. Now moving on to the build quality, this drone seems to be built extremely well. I mean, instead of using cheap plastic like other toy drone manufacturers use, this drone seems to be built out of flexible type of rubbery feeling plastic. Now I know this feels or sounds kind of weird, but this drone seems to be extremely flexible and I'll be testing that later in the video. But without further ado, let's see what this drone has to offer by testing its flight capability. So I'm back from setting the drone up and I can say that setting the drone up really isn't all that hard. All I had to do was download the DJI Tello app, connect the phone to the DJI Tello and bam, I was done and the DJI Tello is ready to go. So let's see about its flight capabilities and so now I'm in the app and let's just see how it flies. Control panel and I'm just going to start up the motors and as you can see it's kind of starting. I'm kind of scared that this is going to hit me but let's start it up. Whoa! Okay, so it's, it's flying now. I'm, I'm going to go into sport mode to see if it flies better. And wow, so you can see the drone right now. Hi. And I'm just going to go around the studio and let's see how it performs. So, um, right now I'm just flying through the studio. Uh, careful not to crash into my drum set. Oh gosh. Wow. This is nerve wracking. Okay. Whoa. Okay, so there's me. Wow. This is kind of hard to control. It's very zippy. I'm used to flying my big drop test drone, but which is not at all zippy compared to this. This is crazy. Let's see if I can go underneath the cable. Can I? Whoa, this is, this is hard. Whoa. Whoa, that's crazy. I, I did it. Wow. This drone is incredibly stable and I'm just going to show you that. Wow. Wow. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to... Wow, I just crashed it. Okay, this is why you shouldn't fly the drone at home. So I've just gotten the drone and appears to be nothing wrong with it. The app is not giving me any warnings, so let's just see how well it hovers. And I'm gonna start it up. And there's also um, a manual way, to, uh, an automatic, I mean, way to start it up, but I prefer normal or just putting the stick down as this is what I'm used to on my big drones, but let's just see. Wow, okay. That is incredibly stable. Like it's hovering without much movement. That's crazy. Now I'm going to the sensors, which wow, that's that's impressive. That's really impressive for a drone this size. I mean obviously it can't compare with let's say Mavic Mini, but wow. That's pretty good. Whoa, 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 whoa! Ow. Whoa, 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 whoa! Ow. So I mean, I hate to say it, but unfortunately, I lost the drone. Of all things that could have happened, the drone could have broke, the drone could have shattered into pieces, the drone could have, you know, like, completely got broken, but of all things that could have happened, the drone is lost. I mean, seriously, I cannot find the drone. I mean, this is probably something that strikes as extremely funny to you guys, but I mean, I looked all over the studio, including this spot where I thought the drone would be, and I just can't find the drone. And I mean, this is just really weird as, I mean, I literally saw with my own eyes the drone go here. So maybe I did use the bathroom after that happened. So maybe I took it to the bathroom for some reason, but I mean, why would I take the drone to the bathroom? And I looked in the bathroom and it isn't there. So I think the drone might like literally be somewhere back there. And I searched very thoroughly back there and I couldn't find it, but I'm just absolutely not sure that, where the drone is. And I'm really sorry about this, but 
Regardless of where the drone is, I'll still be giving a list of pros and cons that I have found about, well, I mean, my short time with the drone. So without further ado, let's see what the pros and cons about this drone is. Now over the short time I've had the drone, I've accumulated 3 pros and 3 cons about this drone and I'll be sharing them to you right now. So the first thing that I really like about this drone would definitely be its stability. Now this drone is extremely stable for its size, and I'm not sure that I can maintain stability in the wind, but needless to say, that's still very impressive that the drone was able to hover an inch away from the camera without moving too much, and I really think this is one of the things that make a drone very good. Now the second thing that I really liked about this drone, and kind of disliked, was the zippiness. Now I say I liked and disliked at the same time, as the zippiness sort of caused me to crash and made the drone hard to control. However, this zippiness also made the drone extremely fun to use, as it accelerated quickly and was able to stop quickly, and I feel like this is something that's very fun as a toy drone. Now the third thing that I really liked about this drone would definitely be its camera. Now I know lots of drones these days have camera, but to see a camera on a drone that small, that's just really impressive to me. Now I'll be moving on to the things I don't like so much about this drone. So as I said, I didn't really like the zippiness that much. Now this did cause me to crash and well, kind of made the whole thing harder to control. Now the second thing I don't like about this drone would definitely be the fact that, I mean, I feel like the propellers are kind of flimsy. Now I'm pretty sure this is a fact for all small drones that the propellers are flimsy so they can keep light and have the ability to fly, but I feel like if the propellers were just a bit stronger, it would make the drone better. Now the third thing I did not really like about the drone was kind of a safety feature, the downward sensors. Now this downward sensor sort of made the drone raise up whenever it saw like a table or something you know like higher than the ground and I feel like that just kind of made it harder to fly as when I was flying over my studio lights and since I have a chandelier on the ceiling it basically crashed into the chandelier as the drone automatically went up and that also caused me to panic which is why I got it crashed into my green screen. So these are the things that I really like and don't like about Drone. Now I know you guys are probably asking, well, I mean, I know that it flies fast, I know that it's probably a little bit, well, I mean, hard to control, it's stable, but should I buy it? Well, in my opinion, this drone is definitely worth the $100. I am absolutely astonished by how well it performed. This was just insane to me, and I feel like anybody who needs a drone that, you know, is for fun should definitely buy it. Guys, thank you so much for watching till the end, and I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked this video, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment critiques and ideas about this video in the comments below. Guys, I also want to give a huge shout out to my friend Military. Let's get him to 135 subscribers. I know we can do it. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and I really hope you have an awesome day. Bye.